Hey everybody, um, this has been a super requested video for me to uh, um, do my routine for everybody. Um, I'm going to just kind of jump right in so that I'm not wasting much time. Um, I've already started. Um, I primed my face with the Milani Prime Shield to Face Primer Mattifying and Pore Minimizing. It looks like this. And I'm going to jump in with this Hard Candy Glamouflage. It's a heavy duty concealer and I'm going to just go under my eyes. I'll go ahead and map out my face and show you kind of like how I cover everything up. I'm just going to take a candy dandy bottle of water because I don't feel like getting up to the sink. Woo! Got it everywhere. Yeah, it's just water. Who cares? Okay. Beauty blender. Blend it all out. Okay. So once that's blended, I know you look like a freaking weirdo. Um, but then I'm going to take this e.l.f. It's a translucent powder. Um, these things are so important to have. I'm not kidding. So many people, um, this is just some random brush. Um, I actually got it um, from a very special friend of mine. Um, and I'm just gonna set that under eye. But like so many people don't use like a translucent powder. And I really feel like it makes such a huge difference because like it mattifies your face and it makes it just look so like smooth and photo ready and I know how important that is to a lot of people. I usually put my foundation on underneath but like just since I'm so tired today, I'm just not, I wasn't feeling, um, or I felt like I needed to um, put it on before. But I'm just taking this Milani Conceal and Perfect, literally, holy grail of foundation. I am not kidding. I am, like, if you can see, I have bad acne scars. Like, I mean, they don't probably look bad to you. I mean, to people like that do have, like, way worse. But for me, like, they suck. Um, and, um... This has been just like so amazing. Like it covers everything up for me and like literally I'll probably never go back to anything else. Um, I have tried like MAC, um, I've tried like Tarte, like I've tried just about everything for full coverage, even Kat Von D's and they just didn't do it like how I wanted it done. Um, I mean I still do put a concealer on, obviously you can see that I just did that. Um, but I just feel like, you know, like this and this together is just like amazing. So I'm gonna go in with this Tarte brush. It's a foundation brush, literally, holy grail. I'm gonna probably say that a lot to things just because obviously like I have quite a bit to cover up. Like I have redness, I have acne scars. Um, I have some like scarring from fights <laughs> not like that kind of fight but with like cats and stuff I'm a cat person anyway um so I have like some like some like dig outs whatever yeah but I got that crop to come so let's just go in and I'll kind of like show you like this side of my face versus this side of my face just so you can kind of like like see okay so I did one side of my face, the one away from you, so that you can kind of get the sight, like first impression. Okay, so you see this side versus this side. I know it looks sticky. It really doesn't feel sticky though. It looks sticky, but it doesn't feel sticky. Um, but yeah, this is the other side. But obviously, like I have like the concealer over here. Um, and then this is this side. Um, honestly, I love this stuff and I would swear by it to anybody, um, but let me just kind of finish my face real quick and I'll set it and stuff and if I have anything else to say, you'll hear it. Okay, now that that's all blended out, um, I'm going to go in with this contour palette like literally amazing i love this um and then i have these eye beauty flat brushes they're like 
that. They're so cool, dude. Like, oh my gosh, I love these so much. Um, and then I got both of these at TJ Maxx. Um, it was like a set of three of these for like 20 bucks. And then this was only like four bucks. I'm not kidding. Like, and it works so good. It works so good. I love it so much. Um, so I'm gonna go in. I know you're gonna be like, okay, so why did you conceal it? You're just gonna cover it up. Bear with me here, okay? Cause we're gonna make it like lighter and brighter and beautiful and I cannot wait. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this like light, like banana looking shade. It's really pretty actually. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go in. Okay, and then I like to go all over my lid with this. I know that um, some people don't wanna do it because it would crease and stuff like that. But like, that's why as soon as you're done doing this, set it with a translucent powder. So important. Um, and then you're just gonna go down the bridge of your nose. If anybody has ever seen any other beauty person doing this, you should probably kind of already get the gist of like what I'm doing with contouring. But then again, not everybody sits there um, up until two o'clock in the morning researching all this stuff. Hi, me, I do that. Um, and then go under, not where you would put your contour, but underneath of the contour. Yeah. Literally, because I never did that. I never was like, oh, why would I highlight where, um, like underneath of my, um, like where I would put my contour at. Like, why would I do that? And then I did it and I'm just like, oh, that's why it looks so like amazing. Didn't know that, but now I do. And then a little bit up on your, <laughs> right up here. Um, so for the most part, the lighter, part is done you can lighten it even more if you want to like if you really want a bold look <laughs> but I don't know like I'm not really trying to go that bold today because like literally people are coming over to my house and I'm doing their makeup so I'm not trying to be like doing this video all day <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with this super dark chocolatey color oh my god like it just like makes me think of chocolate and then I'm like get really hungry Anyway, back to the video. Um, so I'm gonna go in and contour my face. So you're gonna wanna do it from your hairline all the way like down here, like so. <laughs> I hate, I hated that voice, that was terrible. Anyway, you're gonna wanna go over your um, forehead. And all of this is gonna get blended out, so if it looks ridiculous, don't worry about it. It's gonna get blended. And then obviously, you wanna chisel out your face a little bit. Okay, so now that that's done, you're gonna take your beauty blender and you're gonna blend it through it all. Okay. By the way, this is dry. This is not wet. Okay, now that we're blended, <laughs> we're gonna go in with, don't laugh at me. I know that this is just like a trial thing, but like, obviously I'm not gonna throw away a trial. I'm just gonna wait till this one's gone and then buy the other one. Um, this is the Too Faced Chocolate Salil. And I'm pretty sure it's like the very dark one. My contacts are messed up. I don't care. Um, and then I'm gonna go in, go in with this contour brush. It's like a flat brush. This is like what a lot of like YouTubers and stuff use to like bake their face with. Like when they have like the, the um, excess powder. Actually, you know what? I forgot, hold on, I'm gonna set my entire face right now before I put powder on. And the cool thing about 
this powder, it like makes your face feel like <laughs> like that sounds weird, but like it just like makes like you feel like oh, okay, that ain't moving. Cause it's not gonna move. Okay. Anyway, back to um, my contour um, that I really don't need to enhance, but <laughs> I'm gonna anyway. So let's go ahead and brush off the excess. Always do that because then you're gonna get way too much product on your face, and then you're gonna be like, oh my god, why didn't I tap it? Tap it. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go like on that same line that you did the um, cream with, the cream one with, and you're gonna go like that, and then you're gonna kind of go like in motions like this to kind of like blend it out. Um, so like up and down and sideways. And now bam, mm, see like, None? Yes! None? Yes! <laughs> Sorry, I get way too excited about this. Next, I'm gonna go in with blush. I've got quite a few options of what I can do for blush. Where are my palettes? Okay, so I actually got like the best freaking palette. Okay, and this is just, sorry, this is just like a regular angled elf brush. Um, but I got the Too Faced um, like Christmas collection thing and it comes with these three palettes, um, I'll get in depth with them in just more, one more second, and it comes with a Better Than Sex mascara. Can you see the? Yeah, that guy. And then, so they have, and everything from Too Faced seriously smells so good. So like literally if you have the time, go into an Ulta and just smell the palette. Okay. Anyway, um, this one is Eggnog Latte. Like, oh, these colors. Oh, oh my God. <sighs> And it smells so good. I freaking love it. Okay, wait. So then I'm, I might use this blush just because I'm going to kind of keep it pretty natural to her. Um, just because I have people coming over to do their makeup, as I've said. Um, this one is the Peppermint Mocha. Yeah. Eggnog Latte, Peppermint Mocha, Gingerbread Cookie. Like, fuck. Sorry, I probably shouldn't swear, but my video <laughs> anyway okay so I'm gonna go in with this eggnog latte mm -hmm. and I'm gonna go in with the um, shade called peach cobbler it's kind of like um it's almost corally pink um I fell in love with it like when I saw it online I was like why don't I have this why is this not in my life like what is wrong with me um it's like a 200 something dollar value like 300 dollars something value whatever and it's only 50 bucks so i mean like go get it like it's kind of stupid not to it has like two blushes like six times three whatever the heck that is 18 18 <laughs> 18 eyeshadows and a bronzer so i mean it's not completely full face but it's the grand majority of your face because it also does come with the mascara. So, I mean, you really get a lot for your money. So, why not? Yep, so this is blush. Blush is done. <laughs> Apparently my cats are tearing up the house. Freaks. Okay, and... Now I'm gonna go in with literally. I'm <laughs> um, today I'm going to use Becca Opal, um, and I'm gonna use both. I'm gonna use the liquid and the powder because you gotta go so the gods can see you, so you can go up there when you're done here. Okay. That was ridiculous. Anyway. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the tip of my nose, down the bridge of my nose, across my forehead. I'm gonna blend all of this, so don't be like, okay, she just lays it like that, cause no, I don't. And then go down like this, like, oh, fuck. Um, and then I kind of like bring it onto like the apples of my cheeks, just because. Hello, I like to glow. Um, 
And then Cupid's bow. And down here. So basically everywhere that you um, like contoured at, or not contoured, freaking like highlighted at. top of it I'm gonna go with in with the powder because I just like to be super glowy and who doesn't <laughs> anyway um okay so here I just got like the trial just for now just because I didn't really know if I would like it or whatever which oh, fuck again shouldn't swear but fuck <laughs> um yes look at that highlight oh that's perf okay and then I'm gonna go in with this Bare Minerals fan brush. This one's pretty thick, but like, I dig. I dig, I dig it a lot. Anyway, I'm just gonna go down. Oh my God. <laughs> Fucking beautiful. Oh my God, I love it so much. Like, they can see me from the heavens. I look like you can see me from space. Um, we're gonna go in with brows. Brows are my favorite. Like I'm, like you have no idea. I literally call my friends over all the time and I'm like, girl, let me do your brows. Cause I love it. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX Tame and Frame. <laughs> Tame and Frame. Um, and this one is in the shade Brunette. So it's this color. Probably not completely matchy-matchy with my um, brows, but you know what? Who cares? Because I don't. <laughs> and then I have no idea what brand this is. I don't know where the hell I got it. Nothing, I don't know anything about it, but we're gonna use it anyway, okay. And then obviously people, this is the rule, here, here is where your arch should go, and then here is where you will end. Um, I should probably brush mine out. <clears throat> Hang on, hand it back. <laughs> okay, so obviously this is like some little NYX kit that I got like forever ago. It's probably gonna break soon. That, but I'm just using this out of it so that you can comb your brows before you actually do anything to them so that they're all laid out. I cannot believe my son has not woken up yet. Like, I'm shocked. <laughs> anyway, okay, like if you ever like overdo it or um, like you mess up or something, don't worry about it because you're gonna go clean it up anyway. Like, I mean, if you obviously like follow the steps that I'm doing, like I always go back in with um, my Glamouflage Hard Candy Concealer and then I've been using this um, Urban Decay Naked 2 brush because like literally like I, this is, <laughs> I don't do anything without this brush. I have never once done my entire face ever without this brush. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, you're just gonna clean it up anyway, so like, if you mess up or like, you don't think that something looks good or whatever, don't worry about it, because we're gonna fix it. Okay, so like these. Um, I'm gonna do one eyebrow at a time, just because my next one I'm just gonna fast forward through. So take this, just put some product on it, and you're just gonna do basically an outline of it, because it kind of just makes your eyebrows pop. And like if you got too much on it, don't worry about it. Just like bring it down because um, I mean I use this instead of an eye primer. I always just use um, my concealer. Um, it works fine for me. So just go ahead and blend that out. But yeah, that's what it's gonna look like. But yeah, and then you just blend it out. So then it's gonna look like this. Two totally different looks. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> okay. I'm 
then go back in with the next and do the other one. I'm gonna fast forward through this part, so see you in a second. ahead and go in with eyeshadow um so like i said i don't use an eyeshadow primer um, i put my entire milani um primer all over my face to begin with and then um i kind of just like to go in with my hard candy um glamouflage and put it over top of it um so yeah that's what i do with that um and today, which one, what palette do I want to use? Because I do have the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. Like, seriously? Like, who, who fucking decided to make this? Like, I, I love you. Because, <sighs> Freaking. oh, for one, and two, like, these colors. Like, um, I'm probably going to just use, like, um, the most natural palette that I have today just because I don't feel like doing anything super dramatic just because like I'm not trying to drag this out even longer than it already is. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this gingerbread cookie palette. Um, it's got just like a lot of like neutrally colors and then obviously the winter dream just the most random freaking color in there. <laughs> Whatever you do you Too Faced obviously you sell out of these things. Um, so I'm going to go in with ginger cream which is just gonna be like a really um, light color it's like a really like light tan it's not white obviously and I'm just gonna go all over my entire lid with that okay I'm gonna go into the other eye okay so that's just like my base color um, and then I'm just gonna go in with gingerbread I'm pretty sure this is supposed to just be a bronzer but like it's pretty um, and then this is just gonna go tap off the excess. Don't forget. Um, I'm just gonna go in with the crease with this one. I blend. I do like a back and forth, like a windshield wiper, and then I also do circle because like it really, really helps like make it get blended. So I just have like something light on my eyes. Um, I'm thinking I might actually probably do a cut crease. Um, I'm probably gonna go in with the white on eggnog, the frosty nog, that one, or let me see what's on peppermint mocha, or peppermint cream. They're pretty much the same color. I mean, I think the one on the eggnog, or yeah, frosty nog is a little bit darker. I mean, you probably can't tell. But, oh yeah, maybe you can, yeah, you can. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the peppermint cream, the lighter one of the two, and I'm gonna just do like a cut crease on my lid with it. That worked out a lot better. Okay, so let's just go in with this one is a Bare Minerals brush. It's a full tapered shadow brush. Okay. This one looks a lot whiter than that one, so I'm just gonna keep trying to like pack this on. I know that the other one I used the setting spray and um, I mean, I liked it, but like, I'm not like in love with it. I don't know. Yeah, that helped. <sighs> that helped. Okay. So now, um, I might, <sighs> cause like I just wanted to keep it simple, but then like I like playing around. So fuck. <laughs> um, damn it. Um, I'm gonna go in with 
this tiny little BB brush. It's an Urban Decay, or Urban Decay. Wow, Bare Minerals, I can't read. Um, Heavenly Liner Blending. Um, I'm gonna go in with the crease and I'm gonna use the color Sprinkles. This like really purpley color. It kind of looks like jelly, um, but it's a little bit darker. But I'm just gonna kind of like try to cut my crease with it. Obviously, people knew that this was going to happen at some point. Um, I just bought this, so bear with me if I'm slow about it because um, I was um, paying attention to a lot of products that Jaclyn Hill uses because she's one of like my idols. Like, oh my god, like she's amazing. Like I have no words. And um, so I noticed that she always uses this uh, L'Oreal in blackest black. Um, it's, what the heck is it called? Um, the infallible, infalli <laughs> infallible, infallible, whatever. It's this one. If anything, um, I, if you have any questions on any products or anything, you know, just shoot me a message, you know, leave a comment, whatever. Um, I'll obviously get that to you. Um, or I might even leave it in like the description below. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try this. It comes with this little applicator. So you know what, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna use it. I mean, I have like a ton of other um, brushes that I could use, but like this is the one it comes with, so let's try. Oh, my son just woke up. Okay, and then obviously with this, like you're gonna wanna do this. And also, you know, just like eyebrows, if you mess up, don't feel like scared, like whatever, don't like freak out and be like, oh my God, I'm never doing this again. Cause like, I, I wanna say that to myself like almost all the time, <laughs> but you know, that's never gonna happen. Um, Cause you know, you can always clean it up. So you know, don't even, don't even stress. And I, on that note, um, my son just woke up, so I'm gonna have to go. I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, put on a little movie for my son, just so he will be entertained just for the remainder of this video. Um, I'm gonna say no to this brush um, for brows, or for uh, eyeliner, just cause not really feeling it and it's not really working out quite the way that I wanted it to. So I'm gonna go in with this unique um, liner shader, what did I say? Liner shader? Liner shader brush. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go in with obviously an angled brush and dip back into my pot and continue. Which, by the way, like I wasn't really like a, like a fan of Unique. Like I've had like a, a couple of friends um, like be like like sellers and stuff like that, and like they totally were like oh like you need to try this and this and this and, this. and like I'm like always really hesitant just because like it's like one of those consultant things. Just kind of like I don't 
care usually about those kinds of things, but um, I actually got to use some of the unique products and they're actually awesome. Um, I use their liner stick, like the felt one, um, and literally bomb.com, like seriously, like I'm, I need to get my hands on that. Um, Cause like, I mean, I don't get me wrong. I love gel. Like I, I totally love gel, especially because like how dark it is. Um, but, sorry, that keeps coming off and it's just driving me crazy. Um, but like, because of like how dark the gel looks, um, but yeah, no, the like, because like the amount of product that comes out like with, um, the felt liner or whatever, it's amazing. Like I, I love it because it's just like, it's so like bold and dark and like it is so yeah, I'm probably just gonna have to um, cave and buy some from one of my friends. So anyway, let me get back to this. Okay, so obviously this wing was not from this brush, but obviously what's on my eyelid is from this brush. So, so far digging the brush. Um, the gel pot, um, I'm gonna say yes. Um, I like how black it is. Um, obviously, Jack and Hill was right. Yes. Um, it's amazing. Um, I totally recommend it as well as um, she does. Um, so, I'm gonna just do the other eye, kind of fast forward through it, and I'll kind of go back through and kind of show you like how I do it. I, I pretty much do it the same way that anybody else kind of does it. Like, down, down, across the lid, across the lid. Uh, like that's pretty much how I do it. And then um, fill in any spaces. So yeah, all right, fast forwarding. Okay, so my tops are done. I look so glowy. <laughs> it's kind of scary almost, but yeah, I mean, they didn't turn out that bad. Like, I can dig it. Okay. Um. I've like been contemplating doing fake lashes this entire time because like it's a lot of work. I mean not really, no, I'm just really lazy. <laughs> um yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and save that brush. Ooh, I like it. That was good. That was real good. Um and then what I like to do is take the Unstoppable by Maybelline. It's in the shade Onx. Um and I like to go up on my like upper, like inner, um, like my upper inner waterline and black it out. Um, gonna go in on my bottom um, waterline. Um, I'm not like worrying about if I like get some like smudged on the bottom or anything like that because I'm gonna end up smudging it with um, some. Um, eyeshadow anyway so I'm like I'm not really that worried about it but I'll, I'll, I'll get back with you in just a second see and like it looks like a hot mess right now but just wait okay so now yeah super blacked out I loved black hot eyes like I don't know why but I do um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and take the black from one of my things. I think it's, what one would it be? Cause it was black coffee. That's, I just remember the name. Yeah, gingerbread. These palettes. I have other palettes. I'm just not using them cause I don't care. Okay. Nope, this isn't it either. Found it. Okay, it is a Veramona brush. Um, I couldn't really tell you much else about it. Um, I don't, like none of these like have like numbers on them, I don't think. I mean, I haven't really paid attention enough. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and go back in. Do I wanna go in with Cup of Joe or Black Coffee? Cause like I love both colors, these two. Mm. I think I'm gonna go in with Cup of Joe. It's the darkest brown one, um, not black. 
So I'm gonna go in with that and smudge it in. And we'll, we'll just kind of play on one eye and see. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. Um, I would say don't ever really judge anything until you get like mascara on or lashes because everything looks like crap without it. I'm not even stressing that at all because like it's the truth. Um, because like to me right now this looks ugly. But once I put like my mascara on and like the whole look comes together because like literally the freaking house bunny was right. The eyes are the nipples of the face. <laughs> Like, I've never wanted to not quote that in my entire life, but it works. It's 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 real. Um, cause like I mean, the first thing you really notice on a girl is either her lips or her eyes, and um, I mean that's the first thing I look at is that what their lipstick looks like or what their eyeshadow looks like. So, yeah. okay. So then this is the other bottom. Um, what I actually been liking to do is go in with a highlighter and then do the inner corners of my eye just because it, it makes it like so pretty and like it pop makes it pop um so i'm gonna go in yeah so just like adds like a little something something in the inner corner of your eye Like I'm already almost done with this and I mean not that it hasn't taken like an hour, but whatever um, I'm gonna go in with this L'Oreal Paris telescopic mascara. I love this um because it's just like a simple like little brush instead of like the better than sex is like bigger so like I feel like it because like I have really small eyes so like I like literally like 90% of the time get it all over my face it's really hard if I don't um so I like this smaller brush so that I don't get it all over my face anyway back to this okay and then if you do get some on your skin wait for it to dry and then just take a q-tip and it will just come right off so don't stress and um, by the way, I did decide to skip lashes today just because like I'm gonna be working all day. So I mean, I'm not really feeling like dealing with it because I'm probably gonna just gonna take my contacts out after this and just switch to glasses just because not feeling it. <laughs> but yeah, all right, back to mascara. Okay, so mascara is done. Now I'm gonna do lips, set my face, and then we'll be all finished. Okay, so I just got some new stuff, so bear with me for a second. Um, I'm probably gonna go in with this like darker color and then have a lighter lip. So we're gonna kind of experiment together because I don't even know what this looks like. Okay, now it's coming off, thank you. 20 minutes later, okay. So I'm going in with this um, Jordana Easy Liner for Lips Retractable Pencil. Um, it's called Rock and Rose. I got mine from Walgreens. <laughs> Walgreens Live. Okay, going in. Okay, so this is just like the beginning of me outlining. I only have done this part right here. Um, I sometimes I overline them, sometimes I don't. Um, today I'm kind of like on the line. Um, so yeah, just see in a second. Okay, and then like what I've said for um, like the eyeliner, um, also for uh, eyebrows, if you mess up at, at any point, don't stress because um, this is another thing that we're cleaning up anyway. So um, like if you accidentally overline, like I kind of did over here, don't stress about it, don't worry about it. We're gonna fix it. Ooh, I freaking love this color. I love it a lot, actually, that's amazing. Okay, and then, um, 
I'm gonna go in with this really freaking pretty color. Oh my god, like I love it so much. Um, looks like somebody tried using it, so we're just gonna go ahead and wipe that off. Um, <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna go in with this. Oh, I'm sorry, this is um, Milani Matte in the um, color Innocence. Like a lot of people like to like prime their lips and stuff. I don't do that. Um, like sometimes like I'll brush them like with my toothbrush, but that's about all I do. Okay. And then, um, like I said, we're gonna go back in with the um, Urban Decay Naked 2 brush and um, also the Hard Candy Glam Flash. And we're gonna just go on the outsides of the lips um, so that we can um, make it look perfect. So. Looks a little scary, hold on. Sorry, I didn't get to exactly finish uh, my video outright. Um, I had some clients come to get their makeup done. Um, but I mean, this is the end result. So yeah, any questions, you just let me know. Um, I'll try my best to answer them. Um, thank you guys so much for you know even requesting this video. I mean, it really means a lot to me. So thank you.